Hey, what's going on YouTube? Brackies back again. I uh, just wanted to do a mini haul video. These are my pickups for the last two months. Um, I haven't really done a video in a while just because uh, I was in China for two weeks. But here we are. I picked up three new things today. Uh, this right here. Uh, I, showed, uh, I showed you guys the pickup video, but uh, I've never reviewed it. I'll probably get to it sometime soon. But uh, these are the Leaning Diablos. Crazy, crazy looking shoe. Let's get that out of the way. And uh, these two right here picked up from the employee store today. It's a really good deal. I saved, uh, how much is this? Like 80 bucks on this, 90 bucks. Really nice. Here is the Jordan 29. Official color is just black, black, and white. There you see the price. I really like the box, really interesting. Here is the Jordan 29. This is the one I wanted. Uh, I didn't really like the black and red one for some reason. I wasn't a fan of the Giant Jumpman one either. Uh, I like this one the best. The, I saw the Riverwalk one in person as well and I hated those. I do not know why, but I hated that colorway. Especially on the CP3s, the, the Blake Griffin, all that. It just looked odd to me. But here we are. This is the black and white Air Jordan 29. Tried it off for the first time, seen it in person for the first time. Uh, I tried my first pair of phones today. I saw the next phone posits in the employee store today. Like 40 some odd pairs within half hour, more than half of them are gone. Uh, a lot of people at the store today. Uh, let me just leave that out. Another pickup I got before I went back to China. This is the Uptempo Legend. I picked it up pre-owned off someone uh, locally and uh, yes it does remind you of the Kobe ones fits exactly like the Kobe ones really comfortable as well it's also got the heel and four foot zoom bag traction is just a little different and uh, as you can see right there it says Nike right there on the leather probably do a review on these sometime soon as well there's your two pickups here is another one from the employee store Kobe 9 box, official colorway is right there, Jim Blue, University Gold and Obsidian, there's your price tag, uh, saw this on the ground as last pairs, I saw a size 12, knew I had to get it, I really wanted this colorway for the Kobe 8 because uh, this was part of my uh, uniform colorway for my basketball team, but uh, here we are, I didn't have the idea pair, and uh, I was looking to get the Kobe 7 in the same colorway as well but uh here we are we have the nines these are more comfortable anyway i i hate the sevens honestly um the comfort is not there for me and uh, they actually fit kind of weird too but here we are this is the recently released kobe 9 colorway right here really nice colorway if you're a warriors fan definitely pick this up as well Get that out Last but not least, a pickup for Mr. Crispy Coil. Thank you for the assist. He picked this up from Full Locker. I guess he didn't really like it. Suggested retail was $200. Official color is universally red and black. Elite Lows. This is my first time seeing them in person. First time um, trying them on. But I'm so glad I got a size 12. Because uh, the fit is exactly the same as the Kobe 9's. Kobe 8's do not go half a size down. I usually went half a size down with my fly net because the outer material will adjust to your foot shape anyway. But uh, here we are. This is the Glow in the Dark University Red Kobe 9 Low Elite. Carbon fiber. Blacked out bottom. Reviews on the way. I posted a couple pictures on Instagram if you're interested. This is really stiff. Uh, hopefully it will break in with more wear. Uh, this is my first time even picking up a Kobe. This feels significantly heavier than this one for some reason. Maybe it's just me. But there is more carbon fiber on this. And there's more materials on this overall. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for my last two months. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. And a review is on the way. And uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.